Every year, the NHL's players come and go through each team. That is called free agency, where a player has the ability to sign with a team for a certain amount of years or go off to get signed by any other team, like how any other league is. And for some teams, like the Vancouver Canucks, for example, it's never to really get interested on who is expiring. And with the two big players that are expiring for them this offseason, they couldn't have come at a worse time. Hey everyone, Nerd97 here with another video. Today we are taking our discussions to the Canadian division with the West Coast Wales, or the Vancouver Canucks. Now if you're a Vancouver Canucks fan, considering to subscribe to the channel, that made a lot we are nearly 70 subscribers away from 800, which would be amazing to get there by June of 2021, or any anywhere close or anywhere later, that's fine. I don't care, as long as we're getting subscribers, as long as we're getting views on videos, I'm going to feel even more great about myself. So yeah, that's really all I have for you. Let's get into the update between Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson of the Canucks. So the Vancouver Canucks are a team who went through some big changes in the 2020 offseason after being eliminated by the Vegas Golden Knights in round number two. Losing some key players in Troy Stetcher, Jacob Markstrom, Josh Levo, and many others. Despite that, along with some new arrivals, this team still has a pretty good depth chart as forward Nils Hoglund are impressed coaches and made the team out of camp, as well as Travis Hamanek who was offered a PTO and later a one-year deal. But the thing is, who are the two big players who come to mind when you think of the Vancouver Canucks? One may think Brock Besser and Bo Horvat, or Thatcher Demko and JT Miller. But when it comes to some fans, specifically me, I would think of forward Elias Pedersen and defenseman Quinn Hughes. Now those two are both very key players to this Canucks score. You have a fast, nifty goal scorer in Pedersen and an offensively great defender in Quinn Hughes. Only problem is... They're both on expiring contracts this season, and it couldn't be at a worse time. Now, why will we be talking about this? Well, it came out not that long ago that reportedly Elias Patterson was in the process of swapping out agents to the same one as Quinn Hughes, your best two guys being managed by one person. Now, we've seen this before. Our Timmy Panarin and Sergei Bobrovsky of currently the New York Rangers and the Florida Panthers did the same thing to Columbus during their expiration year back in 2019. But now it's more important. Because of the flat cap, Vancouver is forced to put Furland and Howerluck on LTIR for the season. Now you can eventually deal them off, but at what cost? How much money will both Elias Pedersen and Quinn Hughes get? And the biggest problem is, how much do they deserve? The good news is that they are both RFAs, and Quinn Hughes is not eligible for an offer sheet or an arbitration. The bad news is, Elias Pedersen is just those things, and with the flat cap, that means someone will have to be dealed away. But who? I'll let you guys decide that in the comments below. On here, I do think they will definitely sign Pedersen Hughes as they have plenty of time to do it. They have players that they can trade. They have other things they can do to make sure these guys get signed. And not only that, but they will have to sign Brandon Sutter, Tanner Pearson, Adam Gaudet, Alexander Edler, Jordy Ben, Shaylen Shatfield, and Ole Uolevi. As well as goalie Thatcher Demko, and defenseman Travis Hamanek. But is it time to worry necessarily? I don't really think so. The Canucks have plenty of time to sign all the UFAs and RFAs. And they won't really need to worry about it. And as well as that, I'm sure Hughes and the other, the other guys are focused on playoffs right now. Anyways, that is your update for Elias Pedersen and Quinn Hughes and the Vancouver Canucks RFA situation right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. And also, if I got anything wrong, please let me know below as well. This is more of an information video than an opinion video necessarily. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on this. And yeah, thank you all for watching the constant support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys on Saturday for the Power Ring.